fast, very crafty, very athletic, obviously more agile than Kurt. Anyway, without getting into a full-blown review of the match, regardless of what anyone else had said the match is, as a performer and someone who would like to say that he's forever a student of the game, I'm always trying to learn, I'm always trying to study, um, not just American wrestling style, but you know, styles from around the world. I would say that this, again, this is me speaking as a professional. Let's say I am sitting in front of a class of my students right now. I would say, is this match a five-star match? No, but not because it is not of the quality or caliber of a five-star match. This match was never meant to be a five-star match. There's also a thing called building a card. And a lot of promotions, they... They disagree with that structuring method because they believe that every, every time you go out to the ring, you should just maximize your time and just have the best match possible. But what this match did was in a perfect way set the tone for the rest of the card. Hey, this is what we're all about. Everyone else has to follow us. Hopefully we got your attention. Hopefully we've woken you guys up. In conclusion, if I were a wrestling trainer, if I was running a seminar of some kind, I would say, yes, this is a perfect four and a half star match. And because it's a perfect four and a half star match, you can almost say it's a 4.75 star match. Almost, but only because, and that's not to say it couldn't have been a five star match. It absolutely could have. But what it did do was take what should have been a four star match, and it became probably one of the best opening matches of all time. So that becomes recommended and mandatory viewing anyone who wants to get into the business and learn how to do your job as an opening match wrestler or when you're in the, the, the position of being in the opener. So um, was that match snubbed a little bit from cage match or from Dave or whatever? I mean, from my viewpoint, yeah. I mean, you compare another 3.75 match from, from Dave to that and the athleticism is on a complete other level the psychology is on a complete other level the amount of understanding of the characters their motivations on a complete other level and this is why for me um i do think that kurt angle is the greatest i can't even say just in ring I, for me he's just he's the most complete wrestler of all time he's my favorite he's the first, he's my go-to guy to study for for me being an athletic guy that wants to be able to mesh well and complement every wrestling style, but also not. I'm also, of course, anyone who's familiar with me here in chat, I'm not afraid to embarrass myself or, or do silly things. And that's what I loved a lot about what Kurt did on TV. And um, of course, Ray is Ray.